বলবেন কিছু Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, Shri Parna ma'am has joined or not? I think ma'am has not yet joined. I will just call her. Okay, okay, madam. We'll wait for one, two minutes for her. Yeah, madam is joining. Okay, madam. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Uh, Sriparna Madam, have you joined? Sriparna Madam? I think she has not joined. Uh, uh, Sandha Madam, uh, can you please inform her to join kindly? Yes, I have called ma'am. She told she is joining. Okay. okay.
Uh, madam, uh, should we start? I think man is a little busy with some other work. Uh, madam, should we start? Sanda, madam? Yes, I, call, I called mm -hmm. madam just now. She has uh, she is joining. Actually, okay. Okay. some official work was that ma'am has joined. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she has joined. Um, principal, sir? Yes, yes. Good okay. afternoon, everybody. Start it just now. Ma'am, start it. Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, today, actually, 10 minutes we are late. I apologize for that. Uh, we are very happy to announce that uh, today we are going to organize a session on innovation prototype validation, converting in innovation into a startup program. That is a IIC calendar activity quarter four and serial number one. Uh, respected principal, sir, our honorable guests, Dr. Sandha Patnaik and Shripar Naguha. On the behalf of uh, IIC Cell Ramnagar College, I, Dr. Aishwarya Rupa Majumdar, cordially invite you uh, to this uh, session. We are grateful to have uh, Narula Institute of Technology as our mentor institute. We have uh, learned a lot from them. Thank you both the uh, speakers, Dr. Sandha Patnaik and uh, Dr. Sriparna Guha, to give us time. Uh, Today, uh, uh, the session will be divided into three parts. Initially, our principal uh, sir, Dr. Anuntum Mohan Mishra, he will deliver the in inaugural speech. And then uh, we'll move towards the main session, 
uh, where Dr. Sandha Patnaik will deliver her speech on innovations, a uh, pathway to entrepreneurship uh, first, and then Dr. Shiparna Guha, um, her title is Entrepreneurship, a Journey to Sustainable Development. Now I would request our Honorable Principal Sir, Dr. Anuntha Mohan Mishra, to please, sir, you, you can inaugurate the session and please deliver your speech. So. Good afternoon to everybody. It's good a very sir. good afternoon. It's a very rare occasion that we have come forward and assembled here in the in an online session where we will continue our view sharing or opinion sharing under the banner of IIC calendar activity, quarter four, and it's the first of such program. And we are very lucky enough and very fortunate enough also that Narula Institute of Technology, one of the most prestigious and very renowned uh, technological institute, they have become our mentored institute. And we are very uh, newcomer in this platform being a degree college we were mostly confined with theoretical lecture sharing and degree course activities where mostly the honors subjects were taught but we had the science faculties also but still uh, as per the need and expectation of the IRC where main and focal issue is innovation and uh, to make the innovation into ground reality in the form of successful ventures, which will contribute for the nation building and contribute to the economic growth of our country. And in this occasion, I welcome you all, especially the organizers of our ICC shell, uh, their chairman, their secretary, their different subhead. Uh, patronizers and especially the two resource person namely Sandhya Patanayak and Sriporna, Dr. Sriporna Guho. Both of them will deliver their valuable lectures on um, the innovation and entrepreneurship. So I have nothing to say about it but from a general and brief point of view, being a student of social science, I feel with acute intention that innovation is the lifeline and guideline, not only for an economy, innovation is highly essential to a man to become motivated. Without innovation or without new thinking, the life is just like a lifeless life. Actually, innovation make ourselves very fresh, alive and vibrant to do and to go forward towards our goal. As we come forward to the issues of economics and nation building, the innovation means the culture and nourishment and patronization of new ideas and new thinking. It is not only for the industrial sector, it is not only for the laboratories of the science faculty or science department, it is everywhere where innovation is must to welcome the changes, the, of course the positive changes, but which is drastically needed by everybody, both in the individual cases as also in the micro and macro level of economic activity as well. From 2024 onwards, I think the present central government, they have first uh, introduced this concept, but actually this concept is a not, not a new one. It was well within our periphery, well within our the administrators and planners, both at the central and state levels, were focusing on the innovation. But at the government's point of view, they have given more focus and attention for the innovation and the startup. And from uh, 2016 onwards, there has been massive changes and growth in terms of startup institutes and in, in terms of 
patent and other um, other issues that gives the India a new lifeline uh, so that the Make in India program and the especially at the defense sector also we have noticed that we have uh, started to receive the benefit of innovative ideas and welcoming and patronizing the startup. And most noticeable thing is that the startup by the women is also one of the most significant issues that India has been noticed during last five or six years. And it is the women entrepreneur. They have become to the life, limelight by way of nurturing the startup. So very small issues and very small uh, uh, custom uh, consumer goods or anything. Suppose the Nike. It was a brand name. It is very well known to all. But its origin is just a startup and it's a now a billionaire business. Just I'm giving one example, but there are so many examples. And also the uh, different media, especially the electronic and print media, they have also come forward to cover and to, uh, or to bring the matter into the focus or into the uh, notice of the common people by arranging different startup shows, innovation shows, where the established businessmen, they are also giving them boosting and giving them money funding, giving them encouragement. And by way of this, a concept of new startup and innovation under the uh, new economic policy, especially uh, during last 10 or 15 years, we have noticed such significant importance and significance. But it is very unfortunate to say that at the college level, where mostly the general degree courses are being run, we couldn't motivate the students not as much as that is expected. And at the faculty's level also, still we are in the very old thinking and we are very uh, pragmatic also not to make our mindset into the tune of present the need and the new trend or new world and economic order. So when this will be uh, introduced at the college level, especially where the degree courses are being run, not the technical courses, I think the benefit of this new program, benefit of this new idea, benefit of this new project will become very fruitful in our economy a country of more than 140 crores population is still struggling for the economic growth and development as per the new world expectation. But still, we have started our venture off late, but still we are very hopeful that the things will be changed. This concept, these ideas, not only in the technological schools or colleges, it will also become equally important and significant and striking at the general degree college levels among the students, among the teachers, among the faculty, and others. I am very positive and very hopeful that such a new initiative under the banner of IIC and the mentor like Nurula Institute of Technology will definitely bring new changes and significant improvement in our mindset to promote startup to promote innovation, to promote new ideas in our culture as well. Thanking you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your valuable uh, lecture. It will definitely encourage all of us, uh, not only the student, but also the uh, faculty of this institution. Thank you very much. Now, uh, before, sir? Yes, yes. OK. Uh, now, before entering into the next session, uh, I would like to request all the students to put your speaker in mute. Don't uh, unmute yourself until and unless you will have any question towards the speaker after the session. Please be in mute. Uh, now, I'll give a very small uh, introduction of uh, Dr. Sandhya Patnaik, ma'am. 
should we start your session yes ma'am we will start the session okay uh, dr sandha patnaik uh, first of all i'll like to thank you for uh, giving us time uh, she is the um, uh, coordinator of mentor mentee uh, program of narola institute of technology and associate professor of ece department narola institute of technology now uh, today she is going to deliver her lecture on innovations a pathway to entrepreneurship uh, madam uh, you can start now thank you yeah thank you very much very much ma'am for the kind introduction and uh, at first uh, i would like to thank uh, dr anand mohan mishra sir for uh, inviting us and give this session it is a very uh, it's a great honor for us and uh, uh being the mentor institute it is our also our duty to take part in these activities and help and guide the students so ashwarya ma'am thank you again for inviting me so i would like to start my session so i am going to talk about i am going to talk about uh innovation right innovation how does it help a person to a path towards entrepreneurship so what is innovation so we know that the key parameters for the entrepreneurial journey is license a few parameters like creativity innovation invention because it is a human ability to think of problem solving and develop something original so wherever there is creativity and you know th that leads to innovation so basically innovation is something which will help to solve the problems of the society and when the problem of a society is solved they it leads to uh, an opportunity where it can be converted into an entrepreneurial venture so in this context entrepreneurial uh uh innovation is a new idea process or product or a change to an existing product or process that adds value to that existing product or service so innovation requires creativity but innovation is more specifically the application of create creativity so where does this innovation come from then the innovation comes from the necessity that is as we know that necessity is, necessity is the mother of invention wherever there is a necessity there we people try to solve the problems and when we try to solve the problem and when there is a unique technique of solving that leads to innovation so innovation is a unique solution to a problem and it helps in revolution, revolutionizing the society in terms of technology as well as facilities and it also captures the market so where to start from so let us then let me tell you what is ideation first okay like the great saying by simon sikan what good is an idea if it remains an idea we should try experiment ideate and if we fail try again and change the world so basically what happens as students you know what happens uh, we think of some good idea but we do not practically try to solve it or implement it so when this implementation is done, not done then there the idea fails it remains somewhere uh, where it is not recognized by the world so an idea should not remain ideal it should be implemented and tested whether it is market suitable or not so the problem identification means finding a viable solution for it with the help of innovation so let me tell you just like apple what did it change it changed the music and consumer electronics in the world so it changed the market of consumer electronics similarly uber what did it change it changed the taxi business in the world right airbnb it changed the accommodation industry in the world what did amazon do amazon flipkart it changed the retail market so just like an idea 
like that there are many other examples like uh, paypal oyo rooms right so let me talk about oyo rooms how did it affect the society it just came up with a small idea and it converted into a huge business so just like we see that the oyo rooms who is the ceo of uh, oyo rooms can anyone tell okay so mr ritesh agarwal he took up to reach the people to oyo rooms so as to provide budget accommodation so what was the problem here the problem here was that he wanted to connect people so that they get budget accommodation and also enhance the uh, income of different hotels so so what he did he started with oyo rooms he did not purchase any hotel right but he connected everything every hotel built a network and then he tried to reach the people by the chain of accommodation right so what so this was a very simple idea right to solve the problem of the people so we should see that an idea should be measurable right so what do you mean by this measurable measurable means an idea which you are thinking should be able to convert into a poc that is a proof of concept see innovation how it helps you to take up an entrepreneurial venture these are few of the measurements or the criteria that you should keep in mind that is whatever you are thinking it should be measurable means it should be converted to a proof of concept it should have the ability to solve a problem okay and the steps of the creating problem solving process should be clear you should be able to ideate develop implement and evaluate just like you see amazon what happened if i take take the test case of amazon success story what did happen in amazon right jeff uh, jeff bezos founder and ceo of this multi billion dollar company he initially started with the online selling right online selling of books and he received and converted this into a major online platform where the purchase of different commodities were are being done now right so and it has come up with other latest technologies like alexa right so they have put together the strategy of customer requirement so when does an idea click when does it become successful when it reaches the customer so when there is a customer requirement and it provides solution the idea gets successful so who are the target customers that has to be identified identified very clearly so if the idea which you are thinking is if it is attainable that is it has some available resources as well as it should have the skill set so the idea should be attainable so you should be able to develop a prototype and for this you should have the required skill set just like the idea which you are thinking should also be realistic and feasible so whenever you think of an idea you should think whether the team is having the skill to develop that particular idea or not and whether you are having sufficient resources or not okay so to be realistic and feasible you should also look into what is the skill you are having and your teammates are having you know that to develop a business model a platform just like a simple example i'll give a youtube what is a, a knowledge a people uh, should have now people are earning and doing business and marketing through youtube so what is the basic necessity they should have they should have good communication skill and they should also have good editing skills so if you don't have the proper skill set even if the idea is good you cannot make it viable you cannot make it realistic and feasible and one more aspect is that the time frame it should be the idea should be realistic and it should be implemented in the correct time frame for example like in the covid 19 situation it has taught us many lessons it has taught how to adapt to a lot of changes or sudden changes and a lot of innovation has to, has been done so when covid 19 came we learned many things like 
how to use technology for teaching, how to design uh, sanitization tunnels, how to design masks, etc. But you know, these are applicable during the COVID time only. If you think of developing things after the COVID is gone, then nobody will purchase those products, right? So when when the correct time is there, or the, looking at the time frame, you should implement the idea. So here we have tried to solve many problems during the COVID time. Even people develop some robot dogs to maintain uh, or enforce the social distancing. Then there were many devices like robot delivery systems, okay, so that they can dispense the medicines, right, and automatic dispensing systems, all these things were there, but these inventions are time bound. They are specific to that particular time instant only. Now, next, whenever you go for any ideation process or think of any idea, you should think that whether the idea is usable or not, okay? So these are the factors which you should think whenever you're going to implement, like right? what is the usability of your innovation? Usability means what? It is a level of acceptance of innovation and what are the features among in that particular innovation and who are the target group of customers, okay? Who will be purchasing your innovation or will be using your innovation. So usability comes with respect to the target customer and who will use the product? And how is your product better than other products? Just like, let me give an example. Due to this lack of insight, insight that is the usability insight, few of the good technologies that were invented did not click in the market and they vanished. Okay, they did not reach the masses. Just like the Google Glasses, you know. What is a Google Glass? You look at this person, he is wearing uh, she is wearing a particular device okay so this uh, google glass was developed to take a quick pictures scroll internet but uh, scroll internet very fastly okay but it was not socially acceptable because of the inconvenience of wearing this device second is the battery life of this device was very less okay so it was not socially acceptable and it could not compete with the superior uh, devices like your uh, cameras as well as your mobile phones and it did not come into the market. So it did not create any impact on the society and it was neglected to define and it did not validate the users also. So it did not validate what the problem it was solving. What was the purpose for which this particular device was designed? It did not meet the requirement. Okay, the next one more device. Okay, so these are the devices which were designed and the usability failed. Like the file phone, right? It just flopped because first of all, it was very costly. The 3D features were very fla flashy and it was not compatible with some popular apps like Google Maps and all. So the sales ended in June 2015. So this is one of the examples where the device was not accepted by the market. There was no usability, even though it had some features, but overall it could not hit the market. So it is very important to think of ideas which are solving the problem of society, just like Ola, Uber, okay? People had problem of booking vehicles, right? And uh, specifically during urgency. And if you want to make the taxi drop you exactly at in front of your house or a particular location, it was never possible. So this Ola and Uber came up and helped you to reach the exact destination and also take the shortest path. So that's why this has solved a great problem of the society. So it clicked and it is catering to the needs of the people and is covered by technology. Okay, so I hope uh, all everybody is understanding what I'm saying. Now, next, 
think that you should take care of your ideas, you should see whether it is scalable or not. How your innovation will be scalable at market level. So scalable means how the technology innovation startup will withstand the competition, demand, competition from other companies. So to be scalable, the innovation should be updated every time and it should be technologically advanced and should be taken into consideration. Just like example, if you remember, if you remember, initially before Facebook came, it was Orkut. Orkut was there, right? But this Orkut was taken over by Facebook. So now people use more of Facebook and WhatsApp. So it was, Orkut was initially the social media platform, but it had very less features. Then Facebook came up and more features and more securities and Orkut could not retain the change. So it is ended in the year 2014. So to become econo economically sustainable and environmentally sustainable also, you should look into the scalability. And next is how your innovation will address the environment. Suppose uh, the refrigerants like CFC, chlorofluorocarbon was used, right? But it was banned in India in January 1st, 2003. That is because it is very harmful for the environment. Similarly, the ban on single use plastic items is also being applied. So even though these inventions were done, but they were they are uh, harmful to the environment, so they, they won't be sustainable. So now people are going for uh, biodegradable products using different materials like bamboo and leaf paste so that it doesn't affect the environment. And next very important thing is that the intellectual property component. Whenever you think of an idea or an innovation, when it is associated with innovation, you should go for the patenting of an idea, design and innovation. So nobody will steal that particular idea of yours. So just like you see, every product should have its own USP. Whatever idea you're thinking, you should have your own identity your own USP, just like, you know, Colgate and Pepsodent. They are two, two toothpaste, right? Anyone can uh, make a particular product or a toothpaste, but it should have an own, own USP. You should, not, you should not copy from others. Just like Colgate may, they say that whether you have the salt in it and Pepsodent, they say that for whitening, you, you have some sparkling material, right? Okay. So like that, every toothpaste has its own USB. So like that, if your idea should have its own USB. It might be similar to other product, but it should have its own USB. So innovations are of different types, okay? It can be a breakthrough innovation or it can be a disruptive innovation. So what, the, what is this breakthrough innovation? Just like I take the example, like Amazon, okay? It started as a big breakthrough innovation for ordering books, right? It evolved and reshaped itself as an e-commerce firm to become a disruptor. Therefore, breaking the innovation as an amalgamation of all incremental innovation, and that pushed the company beyond the expected level. So the way of marketing strategy was changed here, as well as it, they opted for the e-commerce platform. This is a breakthrough innovation. Whereas, what do you mean by disruptive innovation then? So disruptive innovation means when a new technology or a new device comes into the market, okay, it will replace the old one and the outdated ones. So that is called as disruptor. So just like, uh, suppose we are we previously used 2G phones. Now, as we go for 3G, 4G, the device has changed. So this is disruptive, a total change in the technology. And the new devices are taking the 
place of the old ones and the outdated ones. So this is basically an alternative to the old one and it better and the innovation uh, caters to the customer's need in a better way. That's why it is said to be a disruptive innovation. It, it replaces the existing available products. So basically, you know, we observe that the startups are going for more disruptive innovation and the existing market players, they, are, they will not be disruptive. They do not disrupt the market as they face some limitations because of the business network. But the startups come up with the disruptive innovation. Then if you see uh, more further details like uh, innovation that is sustaining, okay? Breakthrough innovation, disruptive innovation, and the sustaining innovation. So when the innovations are coming from an organization and they're just adding to the existing innovation, they do not totally replace it. And their main aim is to increase the organization sustainability in the market. They are called as sustaining innovation. So in my context, I would like to tell you that whenever you go for ideation, look at the features that I've told, whether the idea is scalable, whether it is usable, whether it is the idea which you're thinking is realistic and feasible, and it is whether within the time bound and whether it is attainable. Do you have the resource? Do you have the skill set to develop that particular idea? Then you can go for the entrepreneurial journey. So the idea should be measurable. Hence, then only you can convert your idea into a successful startup or an you can go for a have a successful entrepreneur journey so with this note i would like to end my talk here if you have any queries please do ask uh, now it is open for a discussion students do you have any question if you have any kind of query you can ask madam you can raise your hands as well. We'll ask. So first of all, tell me, did you understand? Were you listening? If you listen, you'll understand. Response? Ma'am is asking something. Any question? Okay. So if you don't have any questions now, in future, we can have some discussion. Okay. You can ask the questions to Madam also. No problem. But my suggestion is whatever new ideas you're thinking, you know, you should think whether they're realistic or not, whether they're feasible or not. Don't think things which are not feasible. You should be able to reach the market. Then only there'll be less chances that the startup or the entrepreneurial journey which you're taking will fail. The failure rate will be less. Okay, ma'am, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very thank much, you madam, for, for your listening. valuable lecture. Thank, thank you, you thank you very thank much you for, for your valuable lecture. This will definitely encourage mm -hmm. our students. Students, I hope you have all listened carefully about uh, what Sanda madam has said. Uh, now uh, I will request Dr. Sriparna Guha. Uh, madam, uh, should we yes, start? Am I okay. audible? Uh, I'll, yeah, you are audible. Uh, let me just introduce you. Uh, Dr. Sriparna Guha, she is the external member from Inter Institute of uh, Ramnagar College and she is also Associate Professor of, uh, sorry, I'm so sorry, uh, HOD Business Administration, Naruna Institute of Technology. Now, Madam uh, will uh, talk about entrepreneurship, a journey to sustainable development. I will request all the students to listen carefully, please. Madam, now you can start if you are Thank ready. You, Thank you, Madam respected principal sir and other dignitaries and madam thank you for inviting us for this lecture so
the problem so again the question how to identify the problem so for this specific i have to understand if any problem we have to choose and then we have to find out the different solutions so these are basically the application of the convergent and the divergent thinking principles for designing any type of product so entrepreneurship first emphasized on these business ideas it creates the jobs and finally it helped to create the profit by optimizing utilization of this commercial or the productive resources and we know that uh, what you need to become an entrepreneur so some qualities must be there it is not a regular activity or it is uh, it is uh, it is something about the passion of the individual to do a job from the different perspective to involve with the work so the students who are doing certain project they are more involved with the project activities so find find out the solutions of the problem statement and uh, the problem they are also very much confident that is we have to get certain solution of this specific problem and uh, they have believed that their idea is very much will be popular in the market also so we i will talk about that how to identify the market also and then what are the methodology we will follow to success the business plan and this is an also important uh, a need or motive of an entrepreneur and this entrepreneur must or the individual must must consistent with this plan of activity now there are certain examples uh that i am taking from the agricultural field so in the fishing guide these are the these are the area where there is a scope to develop some entrepreneurship activity so if any specific question you ask i will show you that that only the idea so making and selling the christmas wreaths and operating a small engine repair services okay so if i have to uh, go i to these examples uh, suppose the fishing guide it is a particular concept that also there is a demand and that demand have to create by these entrepreneur that how what type of need that can be fulfilled with this type of services so the question that uh, to identify the demand is the main threat for an entrepreneur so there are these are the important aspect of the entrepreneurship first one the ideation i think already my previous speaker have told about it uh, that uh, i that means to identify this market opportunity and from this market opportunity they can identify what is the business idea and to explore this opportunity is not a easy task you have to see the society you have to interact with the people you have to observe the people you have to study the different materials from that thing you have to you are able to identify the problem second one that uh, the commitment of the resources in the face of the risk of pursue the opportunity so you have the you have convinced or you are confident about that whatever the opportunity uh, opportunity you have identify that will definitely some result you can get and last one that the creation of opening a business organization so when uh, it, it is a this uh, entrepreneurship is a process so you think about that how to develop his business idea so so many people may be involved as an uh, uh, to help to develop your idea now if we go through the history of the entrepreneurship we all know that uh, it is not a new thing So this is just a summary of the reason of the entrepreneurship so nowadays we see the entrepreneurship there are certain motives that there is a due to the no job security or be, be become a more independent and uh, that may be the motive for the entrepreneurship now these entrepreneur startup process these are the five component that can work together to create a new business so first of all to start a new business there must be certain entrepreneur or they have the new ideas then they have to analyze the environment 
that uh, with the help of the strength and the weaknesses what they have and identify the whatever the opportunities that are available and this opportunity they can take by the what are the resources they have so that analysis is also very much necessary and finally they can able to develop this their own venture now we have to there are certain environmental variables so that uh, what is the nature of the environment what are the resources are available and how to realize this value and incentive to create the new new business that means actually what happened if i can go through this only the slide in the full screen i didn't get anybody's face so it is very difficult to understand whether people are understand or not what i am talking about so ma'am is it okay if i can make it uh, this one this way i, I... yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma okay. so this environmental factors also need to understand my point is that whenever we have to talk about any product so product it may be a goods or the services so only common thing this product have the several component one of the component that is the customer orientation so customer orientation it related with that in what extent they can get the benefit whether they get the benefit or they can satisfy that this product can satisfy their expectation so this product is good if not satisfied the product is bad so whenever we think about any product development it is related obviously that is this customer orientation customer only understand that whether that full that is their needs are fulfilled or not that means satisfaction second another aspect of the product that is the societal orientation societal means that everyone we are talking about to that to increase our standard of living so how this product help us to increase our standard of living so then this product is the popular if it not able to help the my standard of living so there is no benefit of this product another perspective from the societal orientation is that um that uh, the safety uh, anyone those who are present if whenever we have to purchase some product in the market the first question i have to answer that whether this product safe for me or not whether it is a cosmetic or in a food or if i have to avail any services or any software solution so i have to see whether this is safe or not so from the societal point of view it is important and the last one that is the ma management point of view so management point of view the product according to management they divide the product into two component one is the tangibility and the intangibility so uh, product that is the tangibility that means we can see the product from the design of the product suppose your idea is very good but uh, the design of the product is not good the delivery is not good the uh, the color you are using that is not attractive so many parameters so then these are tangible but in some cases in case of services it is the intangible uh, because in case of story books some of can say that these story books is good some of will some will say that these are not good so it depends on the uh, this is the quality but we always trans from the management point of view when we define a product we transfer it from the intangible to the tangible characteristics what is the objective of saying all these things that the different why this uh, the different orientation of the product is that uh, in the entrepreneurship we have we try to solve the social problem that are in the society so the link between this problem and the entrepreneurship is the product so through this product the entrepreneur try to make an impression on the people of the society that yes that create the value that's why we have to first understand that what are the different dimension of the product then every because this is the only the common thread that uh, between the entrepreneur and the society now this the opportunity opportunity as already i have mentioned that a good opportunity can turn into a business good business and this opportunity it nothing but the idea and the market it is most important the idea have to identify what what is the what is the thing what is the problem what 
maybe the very successful model that is going on so what should be the uh, some modification of this existing product that may be also a opportunity and that can create a market for the product now as my uh, topic is that of the entrepreneurship the journey of sustainability if we can analyze the different uh, uh, product development and we see that most of the product after a certain startup after a certain point point we can't find the name of this company so there is one area we, we, we after, which is very difficult for the entrepreneur to overcome that is known as the valley of death so here if this uh, this entrepreneurship activity it link with the other aspect of the that is the societal aspect and the economic and environmental aspects so it automatically ensured the sustainability and we can see that the entrepreneurship journey that will not end with an unsuccessful story now origin of this concept that the sustainable entrepreneurship the most prominent features of economy that is the rapid change and to succeed in such an economy countries must be able to adapt to these changes so change is the most common uh, one constant i can say therefore most potent tools for achieving this end is the sustainable entrepreneurship that means that to cope up with the changes that's why this sustainable entrepreneurship concept comes into this now in this picture and this sustainable entrepreneur uh, the entrepreneurs who take into account the different aspect that is the social economic and the environmental sustainability in the environmental uh, point of view now see you have a you can develop a product but it somehow not the it is very popular i can say but it somehow not uh, make a good impact of the society so in the long run the, the this product doesn't exist that's why it is important that uh, to un understand the to identify that the sustainability that what are the factors should relate with the product then this product become more sustainable so i'm not get this one now the sustainably driven entrepreneurship uh it is basically different research activity also emphasized on this sustainable activity now sustainable entrepreneurship is a concept that combines both sustainability and entrepreneurship and as and defined as innovative market oriented personality driven form of value creation by the environmentally or socially beneficial innovation and products exiting the startup phase of a company now uh, you know that when you have to develop a product the question is that which particular area you will address so here one of the met technique we will follow that is the stp it is a very common method of marketing that is segmentation targeting and positioning so in the segmentation the total population we just divide into divided based on certain criteria and then out of this total strata we have to identify one stratum and then we make a good strategy to that to capture the interest of the customer what is the benefit because it is difficult to serve the all category of the people in the society the population it is the heterogeneous in nature so the interest the needs and the demands are all these are different so also demands it is somehow the needs that is fueled by our economy therefore when i have to think about a product development it obviously is linked with the which segment i'm talking about that help me to develop the different dimension of the product also and then it automatically automatically create some impact on this segment and it long run then after that we we may be the maybe the leader of this segment 
or we have we try to go through the another segment also for developing the we also have a very clear vision that what are the new thing we have to add in my product so unless and until we have to use this uh, segmentation that the understanding the demand so it is difficult to make the uh, impact of the product in the mind of the consumer and which is very much necessary if the consumer is not uh, known your pro not uh, accept the product this product not be popular that's why for an entrepreneur journey it is very important that how to develop this product if you yourself convinced with the product then you can think that product can uh, product will convince the people or other people also so so this is the main thing uh, for my discussion that that make the entrepreneurship journey become more sustainable otherwise in generally if we go to the different data we see that we started with a certain product but after that we didn't get any type of result of it and less impact so it create an impact when we can link with the customers also or the demand of the market and there are different type of demand for example if we if we can see the any any show cinema so we have to pay this but there is a not a product it is only an ex experience so nowadays people are talk not about talking about only the profit it is also talking about a hedonic that is known as the hedonic marketing that means the expression that 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 you what is the type of uh, experience you have gone through this particular product after using this product so that also you can think that make a differentiating point from one product to another product also so my uh, in the main main point of my discussion is that that how to develop the new product which is a uh, very important for an entrepreneur for their journey to make it a more sustainable and long lasting to achieve this objective we they, we have to uh, understand first of all the demand of the society and uh, the what are the what are the needs till that people are not satisfied or they satisfy they as there are no such an alternative they satisfied with some other product but there is a requirement that gap need to understand and if they have to collect the data in these two area then that help them for the, 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 to develop the product once they have to develop the product then the rest of the thing they can do that uh, how how to plan the activity who are my customers that is also clear and then what are the how to target targeting means that the promotional strategy they have to use to to make them aware about the product obviously you may have developed a good product but it is also very also very much necessary to uh, aware the product about other people about the product so the promotional activities so how, which is possible so if all these factors comes uh, when you have to identify or develop your product so that is the most important part because uh, we you know that the marketing strategy without strategy it is not possible to capture the market so marketing strategy fundamentally based on four p's but the first p comes from the product so if the product if it is a good and it is impressive and it is it can fulfill the uh, demand of the customers it can create the satisfaction so automatically the other part that is means the pricing and what is the promotional and places these things all are related with the product so then i think that is my opinion then the, your entrepreneurship journey become more sustainable you can continue with the uh, different uh, development of your product that means elaboration or you can add the new determinant of the product more you can uh, change the dimension of your product and uh, then uh, in case of uh, design thinking when you can can think about the design product it it follows certain step the first one the ideation that the identification of the objective next one you have to collect all the information related with this specific problem that you want to solve we'll make a solution that what are the existing solution and how you can what are the division it is possible for you to solve this existing solution now this 
uh, development of uh, new product or the extension of the existing product that you want to add new features it all depends on your comfort zone your strength that it is at the technology it is useful not only your the technology you you it is known to you but it is also important to understand that whether these people of the society are very much uh, whether this technology they accept or not because this product you are not using the user they are living in the society so this technology should be uh, people can accept it that also you can judge and next uh, that is the uh, environmental factor it some not somehow affect any bad effect on the society and automatically that makes your entrepreneurship journey more sustainable so that's it for my side now if anyone have any question over to me thank you very much madam uh, students do you have any question you can ask freely <clears throat> I think uh, I don't I, know they are listening because it's a online. Okay, but uh, madam, if if any query, anything, uh, you will take and then you can forward the question to us. We will answer it. And thank you all <laughs> for all your audience. Thank you very much, Shukarna madam, for your valuable lecture. Uh, this will definitely encourage our uh, students as well as us for future. Uh, as we don't have any uh, queries from our student section, we'll move towards the next session. Uh, I'll uh, request Mr. Rajesh Patro, the convener of IIC Sale Ramnagar College, to give the valedictory of this session. Sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I feel very honored and privileged to get the opportunity for propose a vote of thanks for this session. Uh, I would like to start thanking our Honorable Principal Sir, who have always been supporting our initiatives and encourage us for uh, PPR such program. Uh, I also uh, thanks uh, both speaker, Dr. Uh, Sandha Pattanai, ma'am, Associate Professor, EEC Department, Narula Te uh, Institute of Technology, and Dr. Siporna Goman, uh, HOD of Business Administrative, Narula Institute of Technology. Uh, also, they are uh, uh, valuable lecture uh, for uh, which is very encouraged and uh, supportive for our students and uh, also uh, both of uh, our IIC members. Uh, thank you both of ma'am. Uh, thank you ma'am. And last, I express my thank, uh, heartful thank all of those who have been uh, this event possible successfully. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Rajesh sir. Uh, madam, uh, we have almost uh, came towards the end of this session. Uh, can I request all of you to uh, put on your video so that I can take a, a snapshot of, I mean, screenshot of this. Uh, sir, Rajesh, sir, can you please? Put on the video. Just one second. Thank you. Thank you very much. Madam, we'll definitely uh, be linked with all of you. If I, if we have any query or doubt or uh, something else, we'll ask you. We'll disturb you probably the, later on if you permit us. Thank you, Madam. Thank you so much Thank you. for Thank inviting you very us. Much Thank, for you. Us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now I'll uh, ending this session. Thank you. Thank you.